All right, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Hara Kakudash. All right, the um, Most High's name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh. Okay, and his only begotten son's name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Okay, um, the Rakakudash is Paleo Hebrew for um, Holy Spirit, or literally translated Spirit Holy. All right, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well in. Um, Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. All right. Us to Bray Yeshaya, um, part of men of Valor, South Carolina, coming at you with uh, this quick lesson. And um, this lesson is going to be um, about uh, fear, uh, not fearing death, man. You know, because uh, I don't know um, if, uh, well, actually, I, I do know that there's some brothers, you know, amongst the fold. Well, I, I won't say brothers because uh, every brother should know, but. There's some of us that crept in, I mean, some of them that crept in unaware, okay, that don't know what they signed up for, okay? Now, the scriptures talk about us having to maybe even um, experience death, you know, to uh, appease the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And just because you die um, doesn't mean that you're wicked, okay? It says the ones that are dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first, okay? But um thing is, um, I'm just focusing on my harp on not fearing death, man. Okay, so because the concept of death, once you get into the scriptures and get into the truth, you realize that um, the concept of death is, is simple, man. Okay, um, you know, if you, uh, as long as you die in, uh, in the Lord, you go straight to the Heavenly Father and you be with Him. Uh, even Paul said uh, he desired to be with Yahweh Shai, but, you know, um, his will... Lord's will was him to be on earth because he had work to do, okay? You know, so um, let me get into it, man. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse uh, 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be ye faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Uh, Revelation 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay, so it's coming to time, man. Uh, persecution is how you see that they're trying to de demonize the Israelites right now in an alarm and rape. Okay, uh, you know, um, 2020 came in with a bang, man. The, the latter part of 2019 and the early part of 2020, you know. And it's going to be more to come. All right. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So if you're faithful unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, you go through that trying period, which the uh, number ten is a uh, uh, representative of perfection. However, Lord uh, said it, you know, um, every man's lot is different, you know, like I did in my last lesson. Okay, so whatever it may be, man, you just gotta, uh, 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 um, Tough through it, man. Hey, uh, what? Yahweh uh, we're supposed to be uh, soldiers of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? You know? And a soldier, um, okay? Now, me, I'm, I'm former military, but I never signed up to die for America. I just wanted to, you know, use it for school. But you got certain, uh, especially Edomites, you got certain uh, Edomites that sign up just, uh, and they're willing to die for America. Okay? Um, like the dude, American Sniper, I forgot his name, Chris something, Chris Long or something like that, uh, something like that, but, um, he saw, uh, 9-11 and that triggered him to want to join the military, to kill as many people as he can, and even if he died, he would die in so-called honor, honor, you know, how much more us, man, when we have something that, 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 um, is eternal, Okay. Y'all should say he'd give you a crown of life, man. That's for eternity, man. All right. To be in his good graces uh, uh, from death until the translation of the kingdom. And for then on, man, forever on. Even right now, man, doing these works and, and praying and doing everything that we have to do to be in, on his good side to escape them uh, evil days that's to come. You know? Hey, we're a good so we're soldiers of your house, shot, man. All right. And, you know, um, yeah, this uh, lesson is. Uh, Basically, staying faithful unto death, man. All right. Let's move on. Switch gears to Matthew 10 and 28. 
And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to kill both soul and body in hell. So we don't fear uh, Esau because he can kill our body. All right, we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because he can kill the body and soul in hell, man. Okay, and hell is uh this upcoming um thermonuclear destruction that's about to befall America. Okay, there is no hell in the earth. Okay, the way you burn forever. Like you're gonna burn forever, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh operates outside of the constraints of time. So forever to him is just a uh, a, a time period. Okay. So it's going to feel like a long goddamn time. So that should put fear in your heart to not want any parts of that right there, man. Okay. Matthew 10, 28, once again, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And the only um, entity and only power, living power that can do that, the only living power, period, is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Okay, so hey, we're not to fear anyone. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring up certain instances where we had our forefathers, our forefathers uh, endured the same thing, man. Okay, now Second uh, Maccabee six. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the uh, laws of the Jews. And to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem and call it the temple of Jupiter Olympius. And that in a Gerizium of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in the place. The coming end of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. For the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles who dallied with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. And besides that, bought in things that were not lawful. So they were popping women and doing and doing all type of abominations in the, in the holy uh temple, man. You know, the altar was also filled with profane things which the law forbid. Damn. Neither was forbid if neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Hey, and that's right now too. A hey, Second Matthew uh, six is repeating itself all over again, man. You know. Now I'm about to um skip down. To the point. Um, bear with me. Yeah, second math be uh six and uh eighteen. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man and of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. So basically, they held him against his will to eat swine's flesh and go off. But he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. Okay, so instead of him uh, uh, bowing down to, um, you know, um, the, the unrighteous decree. These damn, uh, that these, uh, Grecians was putting on them, man. You know, he said, hey, I'd rather die, man. And that's a noble thing to do to die, um, to rather die than to, uh, um, you know, uh, live abominably, uh, you know. And it behooved them to come. They are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful, um, for love of life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast, for the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as lawful for him to use and make as if he did eat of the flesh, taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king. You know, uh, 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 so they wanted him to basically, uh, you know, um, act like he uh, ate it. So, you know, to, to, to uh, persuade the, the younger uh, Israelites. Then in doing so, he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with them find favor. But he began to considerably discreetly and as came his age, the excellency of his ancient years and the honor of his great head, whereunto he was come and his most honest education from a child or rather the holy law made and given by the most high. Therefore, he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave. So he, you know, he, he was an older man. He said, man, I'd rather die. And I'm already old. I'm going to die anyway. So, hey, just take me out. And that's a beautiful thing, man. And I pray for that spirit. Pray for the spirit of Stephen. I pray for the spirit to, uh, you know, be brave and, and to be uh, noble and keep my integrity uh, in the face of, even in the face of death, man.
Because we understand death is nothing really. All right. If you die in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you die uh, in the good graces, man. Hey, you basically escape this hell, man. You don't even have to go through Jacob's trouble, man. Um, but for it becomes not our age, said he, in any wise to dissemble, whereby many young persons might think that Elazar being four score years old and ten, which is ninety, all right, our score is twenty, were now gone to a strange religion. And so they, through mine hypocrisy and desire to live a little time and moment longer, should be deceived by me, and I get a stain to my own age and making the bond. But see, back then, you know, old age was a, uh, a badge of honor. And, you know, they had wisdom. Nowadays, man, I see old old motherfuckers and they just smoking cigarettes and they perverse and ever. So, hey, this, uh, this generation has been waxing worse and worse since 2,000 plus years ago, man. All right? Um... But though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, yet shall I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead. Woo! Just read that. Matthew 10 and 20 says, uh, Fear not them which destroy the body, uh, but fear them that which destroy the body and soul in hell. So, hey, you uh, um, you transgress the laws and expect uh, just uh, for you to die. And then that's it, man. You're going to have to be in front of the mercy seat, man. And and, and and in the kingdom, everlasting contempt, man. You never know what kind of pain you're going to feel in front of your how about shimmy I was shot, man. People don't know, man. Well, for now, man, for these changing this life, I will show myself such a one as my age require and lead, requireth and leave a notable example to such as be young to die willingly and courageously for the honorable and holy laws. And when he had said these words, immediately he went to the torment. So, hey, man. He said uh, he, he was an example, man. That's a beautiful example. All right, now, um, let's see. And it came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother was taken and compelled by the king against the laws to taste swine's flesh and were tormented with scourges and whips. But one of them that spake first said thus, Why wouldest thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. Then the king, being enraged, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot with which forwith being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of them that spake first and cut off the uttermost parts of his body and the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. So, hey, man, he said uh, we are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our father, man. And we should all equip ourselves with that mind state. You know, easier said than done, but pray for that spirit and the Lord. He, he, he has no other choice but to give it to you, man, if you're of the elect. Now, when he was... Thus, and, and look, he cut out his tongue and spake, uh, or here and spake first, and cut off the utmost parts of his body, the rest of his brethren, and his mother looking on. So basically, he wanted to uh, intimidate his brethren and his mother. And you know, women are very feeble, uh, impressionable creatures, just like uh, children almost. So it's like he thought he's going to uh, um, persuade them, but let's see what happens. Now, when he was thus maimed in all his members, he commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus, The Lord the Most High, Yahweh, looketh upon us, and in truth have comfort in us, as Moses in his song which witnessed to their faces declared, saying, And he shall be comforted in his servants. So, amen. They, they stood um, bold in the face of death, seeing one of their own past, and they stood bold, man. That's beautiful, man. So when the first was dead, after this manner, they brought the second to make a mocking, st mocking stop. And when they pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, so they scalped him. They asked him, will thou eat before thou be punished throughout every minute of thy body? So they scalped him, and then they still asked him. But he answered in his own language, Hebrew, um, of course, and said, no. Wherefore, he also received the next torment in order as the former did. So he took that death too, man. All right. Now let's skip down. Um, so basically, uh, you know, he put all the six to death. Okay, but then he went to the woman. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 it's like Matthew 7 and 20, but the mother was marvelous above all and worthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, she buried with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Woo! And Susanna was, uh, you know, hey, 
there is some uh, uh, righteous women in, 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 you know, that the Lord made, man. We understand that, even though we hard on women. 21. Yet she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with courageous spirits and stirring up her womanist thoughts with a manly stomach. She said unto them, I cannot tell you how you came into my womb. For I neither gave you breath nor life, neither was it that I that formed the members of every one of you. But doubtless the creator of the world, who formed the generation of man and found out the beginning of all things, will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again, and as you now regard not your own selves for the law's sake. Ooh. Amen. So this was a this was a uh 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 this this was a uh, decent woman right here, man. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, it goes on. I don't want to read uh, the whole chapter, but it goes on. Um, and she suffered that death, man, you know, and she didn't fold. Okay, now I got a, another example of uh, Susanna. Because Susanna was trumped up on uh, false charges by wicked elders. And, uh, you know, she beat it. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, instead of lying, uh, uh, Susanna uh, was willing to face death, and she cried out to the Lord, and the Lord delivered her. Um, Susanna 1 and uh, 42, then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O everlasting power, Yahweh, that knowest the secrets and knowest all things before they be, thou knowest that they have borne false witness against me, and behold, I must die. Whereas I never did such things as these men have malicious, maliciously invented against me. And the Lord heard her voice, you know. So, amen. Therefore, when she was led to be put to death, the Lord raised up the Holy Spirit of a young youth whose name was Daniel. Okay. Hey, and, uh, you know, we got to, uh, sure, we can go to Daniel. Because uh, Daniel went through the same thing, him and the, uh, the uh, three holy children, man. Uh Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay. So Nebuchadnezzar put out a decree to uh bow down to these idols, but Meshach, Sedrach, and Abednego, which were the uh Babylonian names. Um, he didn't, uh, he didn't, uh, bow to him, man. Okay. Um, Daniel 3 and 15. Now, if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, su um, sackbutt, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made, well... But if you worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a fiery furnace. And who is that most the most high that shall deliver you out of uh, your hands? Who is that Yahweh that should deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer you in this in this matter. So they say, hey, we're gonna put it all on the line, man. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship thy golden image which thou hast set up. So Meshach, Shedrach, and Abednego was uh, ready to face death, then to bow down to those uh, Babylonian uh, false gods, man. Hey, and that's a beautiful thing. That's a, a beautiful thing, man. Um, you know, I got, uh, two more and they're both in the books of Acts and I'm going to wrap it up. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high Yahweh by Shemir Asher rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah whom he slain and hang on the tree. Him after the most high Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So the point I want to make is, uh, Peter said, um, we ought to obey the most high rather than men, you know? So, hey, um, you know, 
So of course we got to maneuver through this world. But if Esau trying to make you go off, or you know anybody trying to make you go off, you don't have to listen to him, man. All right. Um, I got one more. One of my favorite ones, uh, Stephen, man. You know Stephen was a soldier, man. All uh, right, he was uh, basically, uh, he's um, on the verge of death, but he rattled down the history. Okay, I want to uh, read the whole thing. And it said, uh, Acts 7 and 54, when he heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with his teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of Yahweh and Yahweh shot standing on the right hand of Yahweh. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right side of Yahweh. Then they cried out with their loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And witnesses laid down their clothes at a young, at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, all right, calling upon Yahweh and saying, Lord, Yahweh shall receive my spirit. So he was faithful unto death and he, and he didn't fold. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not the sin to this charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. So, hey, he stayed faithful in the death, and Lord willing, man, hey, um, speaking for myself first and foremost, I, I do the same, and the brothers that, you know, are sincere do the same also, man. Hey, um, that's it, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect, and until next time, Shalom.